Alright, today we're going to do a trigger job on a 1911 using a Power Custom Series 1 stoning fixture, uh, which allows for really professional cuts and consistency. So to do so, we uh, assemble it by placing the guide pins in the roller, put some oil on it, and uh, get the proper adapter in place. Uh, for this, we use the 45 uh, Colt 1911 style uh, adapter and use the Allen wrench to match it up and uh, look and see that you uh, have the right adapter and on the side of it you'll notice two lines one line with an H and one marked with an O and uh, for the sear uh, you're using the O uh, the H is for hammer depth only Put the O lining the hatch marks up, uh, tighten her down, and now we're ready to set the elevation. Elevation is controlled uh, by releasing the lock knob on the side there, and then uh, turn the elevation knob counterclockwise all the way down, and then you're going to go clockwise uh, to raise it up 20 clicks. And that's We'll recommend starting and go a few more uh, to make it lighter, a few less to make it slightly heavier. Uh, but in the manual, you can see how we need to place the sear on its adapter. Uh, so for the primary angle, uh, we're going to place it like this. And for the relief angle, you flip it the other way and match up that to the diagram. And you can cut the relief angle. I use a medium India stone. I got off midway, it's a heavier one, it's like one by two by six inch block and uh, just helps the cut be really really smooth. Uh, you can use a clamp to hold it on to the adapter, I use my thumb and hold it really tight and make sure my cuts are uh, made primarily on the forward stroke, a uh, very light back stroke. Any pressure uh, needs to go straight down onto the roller area. Uh, so that it's nice and square. Anything down low is gonna get you off center. Once you got that cuts going, uh, you need to use a marking fluid, a dicom fluid, something that can help you see uh, exactly what you're cutting. Make sure you're squarely getting it and uh, make sure uh, that uh, you're going all the way uh, across as far as you need to. To test it, I use a jeweler's loop I got off Amazon uh, for super cheap and with that we can really see that the red is being taken away uh, equally on both sides and uh, can tell that we're getting a nice smooth sharp cut. Uh, once we're kind of happy with that we use an action block and uh, set up the engagement right there uh, and see that the hooks are both hammer hooks are touching the sear at the same place and uh, you can push up the hammer with one hand and let the brake uh, go on the sear and make sure there's no grit nice and clean uh, look at it from the profile side make sure that you've got uh, the same thing the hooks are both touching and once you're good on one side uh, we'll flip it over and uh, check and make sure that the action block itself wasn't causing any uh, slight offsets uh, so once you get it over do the same thing on the other side and uh, check the hooks check the brake and uh, from the top and the profile and you should be good so if the you know, action looks squared up and the brake is nice and clean we can uh, assemble all together in the gun and go for a live test uh, so I'll start by uh, putting the sear and the hammer and disconnector in and uh, go in with the main spring uh, just kind of by hand and make sure that uh, nothing's crazy at first uh, be sure you use your thumb right in front of the hammer so you don't ping the frame at all uh, break it a few times make sure it's nice and crisp uh, no slop no grit and uh, that it actually hooks itself uh, that you didn't take too much off. Once you're good there, uh, you can pin in the mainspring and the base uh, magwell and then get the front slide in place. 
uh, hold the slide right where it would be in place uh, so you can make sure you get that uh, no matter what always check and make sure the chamber is clear many times uh, before you pull the trigger and give it a break oh yeah that is going to work uh, let's just make sure it's safe to get a good reset and there's no follow with the uh, hammer going behind the slide uh, give it a few more tries and uh, i think we're ready to put in all the safety mechanisms and we'll check those out and then uh, go for the full install so get the safety in place and install the link and now we're good let's check the safety yep hammer's not going down with the thumb safety up uh, check it a few more times and now let's check and see if we get any hammer followed by releasing from full uh, if you were to let go from there and the hammer fell you're in trouble uh, but that's it hope you enjoyed <laughs>